Badger Beard Oil. This is one of those highly requested review videos and I'm finally able to dive in to answer your guys' questions. And right off the start here, some of you may need a quick hitter answer, whether you're in the store searching real quickly or you have it in your cart and you're ready to check out online. I would say that this beard oil is a good option. It's not great, but it's not bad in any way. Once we factor in the price, it's an okay option. By no means is this a budget or beginner option when you tag the price of $16.99 for one ounce on there. But if you're just like, hey Dan, I just wanna know, is it good or not? Yes, it is good. But if you're in the store, if you're shopping online somewhere like Amazon, and you're just trying to find a really good product at a fair price, there's likely a better option for you, in my opinion, an example would be Honest Amish Beard Oil. Now, is Honest Amish the greatest oil of all time? No, not even close. However, it's very comparable to this, and the price per ounce is way better. You can get two ounces of Honest Amish Beard Oil for less than the price of one ounce of this one. So just to give you guys some options and another recommendation for this, and throughout this video, I'm gonna come back and break down why I gave that conclusion and the assessment of being a good but not great but not bad product. But if you're one of the ones that has to go, I totally get it. If you could, just come back after you check out or after you get home and support the rest of the video by simply hitting that thumbs up, by leaving a comment, by subscribing, any of those things. And again, I'm gonna give you guys all the details and I hope you get to catch all of those. But first, my name is Dan. I do hope that all of you are excited to learn about this and hit that thumbs up. And if you are new here, consider subscribing and shout out to those returning subscribers. Okay, so a little bit of information about this. Like I said, $16.99. I got this about two and a half months ago and I've been using it, I think seven or eight times now. So I've got a really good feel for this. This is a company that is out of New Hampshire, I believe. When I checked out their website, it looks like they have two co-CEOs or owners, and it's both they are both female, so a female-owned company that looks like they really like to do stuff the right way, certified organic, checks all those boxes. Uh, but again, $16.99, that's not super expensive when we look at the small batch handcrafted industry, but usually when we look at that, there's a little bit more that comes with that price tag, right? Usually when you see something that's a little bit more I don't wanna say mass produced, cause I don't think that would be a fair one, but I guess widely available, I think that's a very fair term. Usually when you get that price tag, there's a little bit more to it, and I'll explain what I mean by that. So this first off comes in a nice little box, right? You have all the, the labeling and stuff inside here. Don't really need it though. And then here is the oil. It is a one ounce glass bottle, has a plastic pump top. I'm not a fan of pump tops, but I will say they are growing on me. I used to despise them and they bothered me. I don't really know why. I don't know if it was because I didn't know how to like properly measure it with the drops or the dropper top, but it's doing good. I'm not, I'm not mad at it at all. And then when you have this oil, I would call this a medium viscosity or AKA thickness. I don't think it's a really light oil. It's definitely not a really thick oil. If I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, one being water, 10 being molasses, I would say that this is a five. This is right in the middle for viscosity. Now the carriers, there are only three carriers in this blend. We have jojoba, babasu, and sunflower. The rest of the ingredients, it appears to be things just like fragrances that are in this. So three carriers. I'm a fan of more along the lines of five, six, seven, eight carriers to get those different properties, whether it's the, the different fatty acids that we have in there, whether it's the different nutrients. There, there is value once you start getting above two to three carriers. But again, these ones are great. I have no issue with any of those ones. I'm actually a big fan of them. They all have a really good shelf life. So I'd imagine you don't have to worry about this expiring or going bad anytime soon. And it being a one ounce oil, you don't have to worry too much. How does it feel? And I'll talk about the scent and everything. It feels good. My beard feels nourished. It feels healthy. It does last about, I would say, seven to eight hours of nourishment. After that point, I did feel like I needed to dampen my beard and add some more, which is not the case with some of my favorite beard oils out there. But I will say seven to eight hours, very fair. And the styling is good. It's not the greatest if I had a, a date night and I need my beard to be immaculate. This is not the one I'm picking. However, I don't avoid it. It's not like I'm looking uh, like down on using it. It's a good solid option for feel, good solid option for styling. Now the scent, this is a bergamot and vanilla scent. 
It's a good, clean citrus scent. It's only gonna last me about an hour or two, which I'm fine with. I like scents that dissipate and go away. I like lighter citrus scents. And again, it's a nice, clean citrus scent, and then that vanilla just kind of tames it down and kind of tones it down a bit. Really, really good. I have no arguments, no problems with this. I just know a lot of oils that I would prefer to have at that $16.99 price tag over this one. However, being an oil that a lot of people see, a lot of people get, I'm so glad that it's a good option. I'm glad that there's no silicone. I'm glad that there are no mineral oils. There's no soybean oil or anything in here. I would have no problem with a buddy coming to me being like, hey Dan, my wife got me some badger beard oil. What do you think? I'd say, oh yeah, man, go crazy. Have some fun with it. Really good, solid option. I believe they are out of New Hampshire, if I didn't mention that earlier. I think they have two CEOs and they are both female. So female owned, American produced. I saw that there is some markings for, I believe like the UK in here. So I'm not exactly fully sure on the whole distribution of this oil. Uh, maybe the company will see this and they'll comment down below, but a good option a little expensive for what it is with my opinion here. So questions, comments, you guys, and especially experiences. I know some of you have tried this because you guys have told me. If you could leave a comment down below, what is your experience and feedback for this oil? People are wanting to buy it. They wanna hear from you guys out there. Let us know down below. Is it your go-to, your favorite oil you've ever used? You can't explain why, but you just love it. Did you not have a good experience for whatever reason? Or was it somewhere along the lines of me? We're like, yeah, it was good. It was solid, not a bad option. Can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts. And is there something that I need to dive in deeper? Leave those questions. I promise I will get back to you guys. So thank you for watching today. My name is Dancy Bearded. Please stay bearded and stay positive.